For over a decade, Cassini has shared the wonders of Saturn and its family of icy moons. A NASA video promoting a mission that keeps making astonishing discoveries about Saturn. A spacecraft called Cassini has focused on one of Saturn's moons, Enceladus. Beneath its icy surface is a deep ocean, and great jets of water blasting out of it contain ingredients needed for life. In fact, NASA scientists now say that on the floor of the ocean there may be hydrothermal vents like these on Earth, making hydrogen that can feed microbes. So conceivably, there could be life on Enceladus. This is a very significant finding because the hydrogen could be a potential source of chemical energy for any microbes that might be in Enceladus's ocean. So this is a very exciting finding for the Cassini team. Saturn, with its rings, is perhaps the most striking of the planets. And this mission by NASA and the European Space Agency has been incredibly revealing. The spacecraft itself, Cassini, is one of the largest ever sent into deep space. It stands nearly seven metres tall, and it's been on an epic journey. It left Earth back in 1997, flying out beyond Mars, weaving past Jupiter before arriving at Saturn in 2004, and it's been studying the planet ever since. But now comes the most spectacular stage of all, as the spacecraft orbits inside the famous rings. We now know they're made of pieces of ice and rock, ranging from tiny specks to lumps the size of houses, and flying this close will give us unprecedented views of the rings and of Saturn itself. This journey of discovery will get closer to the rings than ever before. But the instruments were built back in the early 1990s and the scientists aren't sure they'll work. The reason that I'm a bit nervous is that it was, the final orbits were designed with my instrument in mind and with the gravity instrument in mind. And so there's a lot of pressure on us to produce really good science. And the instruments are getting old, <laughs> just like we are. Um, so I'm very excited, but I'm rather unsettled by it as well. Cassini will skim the clouds of Saturn for the next few months before burning up. The idea is to make sure the spacecraft does not crash onto any of Saturn's moons and contaminate them, especially the icy world of Enceladus. We've no idea if anything is actually alive on it. That won't be known until a future mission, maybe decades away. But with tonight's new findings, this becomes one of the likeliest places in the solar system to find life beyond Earth. David Shookman, BBC News.